There has been a ton of new battery technology that's been unveiled, talked about over the last few months, but this, it might be the best. This is the longest life battery with the highest energy density that I've seen that might actually work. Lithium sulfur batteries, well, companies have been working on them for a very long time. Recently though, a breakthrough has led to a battery which will outlive you, me, and to be honest, even my children. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Now, it is true that lithium sulfur batteries are a, a, an area that researchers have been looking at intensely because of their theoretical potential. But theoretical potential is one thing, and making it happen in the real world is another thing. However, Chinese and German researchers have together worked towards a breakthrough. They say they've achieved a significant breakthrough in lithium sulfur battery technology, which demonstrated improved stability and performance. Now, when I say improved stability and performance, we've never seen anything like the performance of this battery before. When I, I mean, these batteries can last for 25,000 charging cycles and still have more than 80% of their original capacity. 25,000 charging cycles, you might do that maybe, maybe in 50 years. I don't think you would. Um, to be honest, I mean, that would be charging every second day. Uh, I mean, realistically, you're going to get, by the sounds of this battery, 50,000 charging cycles out of this battery pack. I mean, these batteries, they're theoretically still be working in 100 years' time from now. I don't know if that's really going to happen, but that's what it sounds like. According to their, a study published in Nature, the new lithium sulfur battery uses solid electrolytes, which they found appears to address most of the solubility issues of intermediate compounds. Lithium has, well, obviously it enables all these different kinds of battery technologies. When people say lithium batteries, that can actually be a reference to many different types of chemistries. But in solid state batteries, there's really three main types of batteries being worked on. And one of those three avenues is using sulfur in lithium solid state batteries. Sulfur is pretty cheap and it could mean cheaper solid state batteries as well. Despite its potential though, sulfur tends to have poor conductivity and its expansion during lithium storage introduces problems. Cracking in the batteries, for example, to kind of simplify it. Sulfur also has the unfortunate tendency to react with lithium producing intermediate compounds that dissolve in most liquid electrolytes, which isn't gonna work very well, right? It's going to mean the battery life will be shorter than what it should be. Capacity degradation. You're going to see batteries sort of like the original Nissan Leaf battery in theory. But it appears these issues have limited the lifespan of previous lithium sulfur batteries to only a few hundred cycles. To help address this problem, two independent Chinese and German research teams believe that they have made a breakthrough and figured out the solution. This involves using sulfur in solid state batteries instead of liquid electrolyte batteries. Solid electrolytes tend to have a porous atomic structure, enabling ion diffusion while restricting the movement of more significant sulfur-based intermediaries. It also comes with the benefit of dramatically improving charging efficiency. Now, this breakthrough was achieved by developing a glassy mixture of boron, sulfur, lithium, phosphorus, and iodine, all abundant products which are relatively cheap. The latter proved to be the secret source, accelerating the transfer of electrons through redox reactions and enhancing the reaction speed at the electrodes. The resulting battery demonstrated remarkable capabilities. I mean, capabilities that we've really never seen before. Even under high-speed charging conditions, 122 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 50 degrees Celsius, they are, basically the batteries were able to actually fully charge in just over a minute. And these results were, to be honest, they shocked the researchers from what I can see. The battery maintained over 80% of its initial capacity after 25,000 charge and discharge cycles. This far surpasses the durability of today's lithium ion batteries, which, you know, they start to degrade after probably a thousand. To be honest, as soon as you use them, they start to slowly, slowly degrade. That degradation actually slows down significantly. But usually after about a thousand cycles, you might see battery degradation of about 5%, 10% even as well. That didn't happen with these. Despite these achievements, though, questions do remain about the big challenge with lithium sulfur batteries, which is their energy density. 
The testing setup used a combination of materials, including an indium lithium metal foil and a carbon sulfur mix with a glass electrolyte. The reported capacity calculations only consider the weight of the sulfur, leaving uncertainty about the battery's overall weight and volume efficiency. In other words, we don't know what the energy density of this battery actually is. It could be great. It might not. I'm assuming if the energy density of this battery is really good, they would have mentioned it, but we don't know yet. These batteries may not be suitable for anything. I don't know. As, as always, we have to wait until they actually hit production, until they start manufacturing them. But the exciting thing about this is seeing the improvement in technologies. And a lot of this is coming from artificial intelligence. It's, it's, it's coming from neural networks trained for certain applications. Obviously, in this instance, they've used a neural network, a, a computational program that's essentially designed to test all these different chemistries together. These researchers have made the claim that they've done it. I think that's not very likely. It's actually much more likely that um, they've run computations through a, a computer and very quickly, it's been up to summarize for them what would be the best chemistry to use. And this is what it is. I think we're going to see over the next few years, enormous improvements in batteries because of this key area, this key technology, this key reason. What we can do is we can theoretically test to see if a battery is going to live last a long time simply by putting it, plugging it into a neural network and charging it in theory not in necessarily in reality, which will enable us to kind of eliminate all the ones that don't work and figure out the ones that do work much, much faster. Honestly, guys, it's an incredibly exciting time to be alive right now. Thanks for watching. A new study done globally on electric car batteries is proving a point that I myself and some of you as well have been making now for a while. Electric car batteries last a lot longer than the media and anti-EV fudsters are claiming they do. In fact, I've pointed out many times just how many older Teslas now have done more than 300,000 and in many cases even over 400 and even 500,000 miles on the same battery using NMC chemistry batteries. Lithium ion phosphate batteries should in theory last even longer than that. And I've been saying for a long time that your EV battery, you don't need to worry about it. It's going to outlast the life of your car in almost all cases. This study basically proves this point. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Please forgive me. I've just woken up. I fell asleep sitting down. I must be getting old. Now, electric car batteries last around 40% longer than expected, says this new study. Battery degradation is something people talk about. They mention that battery degradation is going to damage your battery and you need to worry about this. Mm -hmm.